Hello kids! Today is Thursday, April 30th and it's Children's Day, so happy Children's Day! Have a very, very happy day for you! Today I am wearing a little disguise to look a little bit different and make the class funnier. And no, we are not going to have class. This video is not about a class. This video is about an activity, okay? We are going to paint circle with circles and colors. Can you see? Okay? It is very easy what we are going to do. And the materials that we are going to need are some watercolors, okay, with its brush, a little bit of water, okay, and I am using a disposable glass, okay, because it has two different sizes of circles. If you don't have watercolors, don't worry, you can use felt tip pens, okay, like this one, plumones felt tip pens. You can use like this or you can use like this. They will they will work the same. Okay? Now, let's start. If you have watercolors, okay? Get your watercolors near. Be careful and it, uh, sorry, we're going to need paper. You can put something on the on the table so the table doesn't get dirty. Okay? We're going to use a little bit of water with our brush. We're going to put our brush in the water and choose a color, any color that you want. I am going to choose green because I love green, okay? And I am going to do this, okay? You know how to paint with watercolors, right? A little bit more water, a little bit more of painting. Okay, here in this green. And then, with the tip of the brush, you are going to paint the circle, the base. Okay. And you are going to put it on the paper. If it doesn't print well, you can do it differently. Pay attention. You can... Again, get the color on your brush, okay, put your glass and then make the circle around with the brush. Okay, I like this one better. Okay, look at it. Okay, some color and then you just Draw the circle around the glass, okay? And look, like this, okay? It's very easy. You can do this as many times as you like and with every color that you like. I suggest you that you use first or you draw first all the circles that you want with one color before changing it so the watercolors don't get all, all modeled, ¿ok? Les sugiero que hagan un color a la vez para que no se les revuelvan las acuarelas, ¿ok? Here I have another. Do you see? Now I am going to use this part of the glass. So a little bit of water, a little bit of color, and I am going to paint a circle around the glass on my piece of paper. Do you see? I know that it's not very clear. You cannot see what I am doing because I cannot move a lot my computer. But here is the result. Okay? Now I am going to change the color of the watercolor. So, you know how to use watercolors. Do you, do you remember when you were younger? Okay, with a lot of water. Okay, until the brush is clean. Very good. Very good. Like this, okay? And then I am going to use 
orange I love color orange too okay you see very very um, happy colors let's use happy colors okay here is my orange I am going to use this so I am painting 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 and then again with my glass on the piece of paper I will paint the circle you see the green color is still in my brush so this circle is coming out as green with a touch of other color okay do you see are you doing this look here it is okay I am going to get some more water on my brush again like this <laughs> I cannot see very well because I only have one eye so <laughs> it's getting a little bit complicated now and more orange do you see I modeled my colors there's still orange there's still green in my orange see okay green orange orange happy color orange and then we draw another circle okay wherever you want the incredible thing of this is that you can do however you want it with the colors you want and you choose okay this is just an activity to have fun to relax a little bit to color I love colors guys I love different colors so I found this activity for us to enjoy together even if we are at home okay great there we go we have another one now if you don't have the watercolors you have to do the same thing with a felt tip pen I will show you okay I will put away my watercolor so I don't make a disaster here in my table and here we go you choose a color I chose pink okay you choose a color this is pink and you put your glass and you just draw around the circle with your felt tip you can do this also with crayons even with your colors with your pencil colors this is fine you can do it with anything that you have at hand you don't have to go outside and buy anything any any little thing that you have home you can use and have a lot of fun all right it's not necessary to go out okay there we go I colored with red and pink felt tip pens okay now let's find let's see if I have an orange here so we can color with orange I think I saw an orange down here this is orange okay and I am coloring and coloring and I really hope that you have a great children's day okay enjoy the day I know that we are at home and we are not allowed to go out but anyway we can still have fun see I draw a very big orange circle now do you see and we can continue like this for as long as you want and you can make as many circles as you want and you can choose as many colors as you want there is no no limit to this okay now this drawing here I painted earlier okay so we had a, an example of what I want you to do and I have a proposition on Monday if you don't have time then on Monday you can show me your drawings okay you can ma even make figures different figures for example you can make a bear or you can you can make an elephant you can draw anything you want with circles okay you only need a glass and watercolors uh, or felt tip pens 
you can also use crayons or you can also use your your pencil colors your everyday colors now i am going to make another one in i already used red do i have a blue here yes i think i have a blue here oh they are so tight here there is blue now let's do some circles with blue okay you can even if you want to you can even combine your felty pens with crayons with colors and that would be interesting because it would make different textures sería interesante combinar plumones con crayoles o con colores y les iba a dar muchas texturas diferentes por ejemplo en mi dibujo tengo acuarelas y plumones and they look different okay they have different textures that's interesting and that's fun okay this today is about having fun about remembering all the great things that are surrounding us in our daily lives okay now i want to make a yellow one a yellow circle and i don't find a yellow huh i don't find ah here's a yellow one and the pink one see we can combine and have different things here okay let, let's draw a yellow circle great <laughs> okay this is yellow and here another yellow and i'm having i'm having fun guys i hope that you are having fun too okay you can get your material and then start the video and paint with me and we we are going to be painting together you can listen to my voice and you will show me later your drawings here i have pink and yellow okay do you see i like this very much okay guys now after we have finished our drawing please write down your name i am going to use this blue i like this blue and i am going to say miss Letty. I am going to write down Miss Letty. Oh, I like this for a small circle like here. Let's color a small circle here and here. Ha! Huh. Do you see here this small circle? This one, okay? This is with this this one that is thinner. This is thinner and this is broad. Okay? Este es delgado. This is ancho. This is the watercolor, and this is this felt tip pen. This es is este plumón delgado. Okay, thin, thin, and broad, broad. Okay, guys, great. So uh, I wrote down my name here because this is kind of fun art, and you can write also the date oh i know what i am going to write i am going to write down happy children's day happy children's day <laughs> okay do you see here happy children's day okay great guys well this is a very short video but this is an activity that can last as long as you want. You can draw as many circles as you want with as many colors as you want. Este es un video corto, es una actividad aparentemente corta. Pero en realidad pueden dibujar todos los círculos que quieran, con todos los colores que quieran, durante el tiempo que ustedes quieran. Ok? And now I, I am saying goodbye to you. Enjoy your weekend because my eye patch is itching <laughs> me voy a despedir porque ya me pica mi parche del ojo pero disfruten mucho su fin de semana chicos el lunes retomamos retomamos con muchas actividades y acuérdense por favor si tienen tiempo de ver la plataforma 
Ok, deben de estar terminadas las unidades completas de la 1 a la 14. Así es que váyanlas completando, váyanlas terminando. No tienen tarea, pero sí es necesario que estén completas sus unidades de la plataforma. Ok, so now I say goodbye. I really love you guys. Enjoy the weekend and have a wonderful, wonderful Children's Day. I send you love, I send you my love, hugs and kisses. Bye guys.